Hey everybody, we are doing this live, so I'm going to give everyone a couple moments to hop on before I start. My name is Ash Brockington. If you don't know me, I'm a health and fitness coach, but right now what you really need to know is not that I know stuff, is that I've been through stuff. And so I have been dealing with celiac disease, and which is an autoimmune disorder triggered by gluten protein and IBS and just digestive issues, leaky gut, not fun stuff for about 16 years. And so what I'm going to be sharing with you today, some of it, some of it is things that I've learned through research and um, like nutritionists, chiropractors, natural healing doctors, and then a good amount of it is some th things that I've learned from taking my health into my own hands when I couldn't get great straight answers from doctors and um, even more natural health professionals. I hate to say that, and but what matters is that it will help some of you. So those, this is who, it, this is going to probably interest. This is going to probably interest people um, that bloat a lot because I just think bloat, it's not normal. It's not healthy, okay? We act like, oh, we all bloat. No, it means something's wrong. So bloating in your belly could be bloating in your face somewhere else. Um, that's not cool. So some people that bloat, people that feel lethargic after they eat, um, that just can tell they're not digesting foods well, that they feel like... Um, it's affecting their mood, the people that can't go poop, people that are pooping too much, um, just that can't figure out their body, that can't lose weight, that maybe feel like weird inside, like f inflamed or like, I don't even know how to describe it when it would happen to me. I'd feel like almost like my intestines were like a sausage that was stuffed or like a really dough belly. If any of this sounds like you or somebody you know, you're in the right place, you might want to share it. And I have a lot of different tools over here that I have used and some of them are going to be a little bit more like, ooh, okay, but more for like extreme situations and I'll share why. But I'm going to take you through it all and um, what the different things are for. So a couple of things I want you to understand first off is that your digestion really controls a ton of you because most of your serotonin, your happy hormone is created in your gut, not like in your, you know, pituitary gland or thyroid, like most of it is in your gut. And so if you have a healthy, hey, Samantha, I see a couple, I can't see everybody's names, but I see a couple of you on. So thanks for jumping on. We're talking about low, bad digestion and a bunch of different tools that I have in my tool belt now that really have made a difference. I've been on this journey for 16 years figuring it all out. So when you have poor digestion, you're not gonna be as happy. You're gonna struggle with anxiety and depression more. That's one thing. Um, you could create leaky gut, which means like everything you eat, you feel like you have a reaction to because there are gaps now in your gut where it's been destroyed by bacteria, um, candida, just different things and now free radicals go in and they get all in your body and cause a lot, a lot of problems. This could be Crohn's disease, celiac disease, um, fibromyalgia, you know, MS, like a lot of these different things start in our gut and the root cause of most disease is inflammation, which mostly starts in our gut. So if we can get control of our gut, we are really healing our whole being. Um, also, the thing about digestion is I don't think I understood for a long time. I thought of food as like good calories, bad calories. What I didn't realize is even if I was eating premium, premium foods, if my digest, I had poor digestion, then I couldn't break the foods down. I couldn't break them down. And if I had leaky gut, then I wouldn't be, or like um, my cilia of my intestines were flattened um, from like celiacs, then I couldn't absorb the nutrients. And when you can't absorb or break, either break down or absorb or both, things like amino acids, which come from proteins, um, which are building blocks of your organs and your muscles, or carbohydrates, which is important because you get an energy from that, or minerals, which are the electrolyte balance are gonna help your heart and like make your heart pump. I mean, all different parts of your organs. Um, and vitamins, and you know, we know how important vitamins are for just our immune system and our well-being. Vitamin B and D for our immune system and our energy. 
You could be eating it all right, but still struggling because your digestion is poor. And this is a lot of what happened to me. So the first thing is lower stress, okay? I'm just gonna kind of go through like the blanket things that you probably already know, but I want to emphasize them because the supplements and things I'm going to share, they help me a ton, but you need to start with the core. So lots and lots, okay, so sleep, right? I'm horrible at it, but sleep. Lowering stress, so just keeping yourself like in a peaceful situation, listening to audiobooks like that will help inspire you and keep you low stress, you know, meditating, that kind of th stuff. Stress is like the number one thing that throws my digestion off. It definitely, definitely is. It's hard to manage though. Exercise can help manage that. Drinking a ton of water. Um, tap water is the worst you can drink. It has antibiotics, so it has chlorine to clean it, and that's the antibiotic, anti-life, so you're destroying the the microorganisms and healthy flora in your gut that are going to help you be healthier, close those gaps, keep you happy. If you're drinking tap water, don't freak out, but you do want to get some type of filter or get spring water from the, the grocery store or filtered water. I have a Berkey filter, and since we're just going through all of this, I'll show you what it looks like. I do think it's important. So this is a really big one, and it was, I got it, that you can see Berkey. Oh, well, it's a glare, Berkey. You put the water up here, it uses like a sand filter, and it filters it, and then it comes out here. I got the stand at Target. It was 300 something, but that's the second one. Unless you have a family of seven or eight or nine, you're probably gonna not need the giant one. I love the giant one. I don't have to refill it all the time, but I love it. You can get smaller Berkeys as well. They're really, really, really great. Um, but, you know, you can, Anything is better than just tap water, and that's going to help not kill the healthy things that are in um, our gut. Like I said, exercise is really good with help handling stress and purifying your body. Um, eating organic and non-GMO, um, whole foods is super important because not only are you getting the nutrients that you need, but you're going to naturally, it's going to help your digestion. Um, okay, so then let's go kind of through some different things with digestion. Something when people are having a lot of problems digesting food, and some of you may definitely disagree with me on this, and that's totally fine. This is just what I have found, and I wish it's something that somebody had told me. Because a lot of documentaries right now talk about veganism and vegetarianism um, for lots of different reasons. And so I did that for a while because I was having a hard time digesting any food because of stress. And what I found is that when I stopped eating meat, my skin got very like dry, and um, just kind of like gray. My hair started falling out. Let's see if we can see all the new growth. You can see right here. So a year ago about this time I went vegan and all this hair fell out right there. It's like a little unicorn, but it's growing in now. Um, you know, my body wasn't getting, it needed more protein and amino acids. And here's something else that's crazy I didn't realize is that uh, hydrochloric acid, hey mom, hydrochloric acid is the acid that breaks down the proteins in our stomach. So that's going to bring me to the first supplement that I'll use sometime, uh, times. And I'm going to make a blog where I list these and where I get them, but this is called Hydrozyme. It's hydrochloric acid and it's got um, pepsin in it also, but it helps break down the proteins in our food. So. I basically, when you stop eating meat, animal protein, your body's gonna stop making as much hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid helps trigger enzyme production. So when there's no hydrochloric acid, then there's less enzyme production, which enzymes are going to break down your vegetables and your fruits and your sugars. And if you're eating dairy, like the lactose, um, lactase, you know, breaks down lactose. And so when you're not, having the protein like from animals and you're not having the hydrochloric acid you're actually like keeping your body from making the enzymes triggering the enzymes for the other things too and i didn't realize that and so i basically stopped making hydrochloric acid and that's when i started taking uh, i started adding meat back in slowly and i started taking hi betaine hydrochloride it sounds scary but it's just what your tummy makes and I, there's something called a hydrochloric, an HCL challenge, you can Google it, but it's basically where I would take, in the middle of a meal, because I want my body to 
learn, relearn how to start making hydrochloric acid, and it totally did. Um, in the middle of a meal, especially with protein, I would take one of these, and I would eat it. And if I felt like any heartburn, then that meant I was fine in hydrochloric acid. I didn't need any. Well, I didn't feel a heartburn. So then the next meal, the challenge, right, I would take two in the middle of the, deal, the meal, because you want your body to start making the hydrochloric acid, then you follow up in the middle of the meal to help finish breaking it down. Didn't feel anything. Three. I got up to 20 of these a meal. 20. I was like, I think my body's broken. Maybe I don't know what heartburn feels like. Um, uh, acid reflux. And a lot of people think they have too much acid, but they actually don't have enough. And so their body's not digesting the food and it's backing up. And that's what's happening. So you may think that, like I used to be on Prevacid and I, it never helped anything. Well, that's because I probably was lacking in hydrochloric acid instead of making too much, like the doctor said. It's like very, very hard to actually test for it. So doing the challenge, you, d you can do it this way. So I got to like 21 during a meal and I'm like, oh, I feel it. I feel the heartburn. Nothing crazy scary or anything. Just like, oh. So then I backed off by one. Then you just go down one. And then anytime you start to feel it, like then you're like, yay, my body's working. It's doing better. So then the next meal, you go down one. So now I'm not even taking them, okay? Which is pretty cool. If I were to eat a lot of meat and I felt like I needed or or I was really stressed or things got blocked up and I felt like pain. Sometimes I'll get pain right here and it's like at the sphincter of my stomach to my intestines. It's because I was getting blocked and it was filling up my intestines and like they're like stretching and it's hurting really bad, badly and nobody could figure out what it was. Well, it was basically I wasn't breaking down my protein. So this helped it. All right, so then let's go kind of onto the chain of production. The next one would be the enzymes. And so enzymes, like I said, are going to help you break down um, just all different types of things. There's different enzymes for, um, this is the wrong one. Oh, here it is. Different enzymes for different types of sugars and fibers and that kind of thing. Um, and they're really, really important to add. And now here's the thing, like why isn't our food giving us all these things? Because our soil is awful now. We don't have... Uh, the soil content, it's um, littered with gross water, right? Um, it's littered with pesticides. It's been trampled. It's, it's not pure uh, anymore. And so that gets passed on to our fruits and veggies. And so they are more, they're engineered to look really pretty and colorful, right? To be bigger, but they're not like, they're being stripped of some of this natural power that like this whole plant power um, and the soil power which has enzymes like if you were to go somewhere more untouched like certain parts of Hawaii um, or just different places in the world like the Yungas Valley of, the, of Bolivia like the Amazon rainforest those um, fruits are going to just be like have so much better enzymes raw milk if you know some people that get raw milk you might be like what well the enzymes in that raw milk are so they haven't been zapped by high temperatures um, by and so they're they're there and they're alive and so that's why people that sometimes can't do dairy can do um, raw milk because it contains all the enzymes that help them actually digest it. Does that make sense? And so our food has been so altered that it's it's taken away the superpower that allows us actually to digest it and assimilate all the great things. And so that's one thing. So this is called Optimize, and this is a digestive enzyme blend that I take. It's got um, protease. Papain, bromelain, amylase, lipase, um, rhizomes, amla powder, MSM, which is not a an enzyme. It's like a sul sulfur compound that's really really good for your joints, and it's again in nature, but in like you can find it in dried fruits, but it's missing um, in in our our daily. So if you look up MSM, you'll find on like Dr. Axe, Dr. Mercola, how amazing this kind of superfood is, and then camu camu, which is a fruit. That um, enzymes are also super important. If one has their gallbladder removed, yeah, exactly, because then like you're not excreting, um, you know, all the bile that you need to, and the different enzymes to break things down. So your body's like, how is it going to do that? Um, and then camu camu, which is a fruit that is super duper 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 high in vitamin C, and because of that vitamin C, it helps the bioavailability um, of these enzymes. So it like kind of creates a superpower in them to help them even more. I personally think of enzymes as like these little Pac-Men that are like, tch, 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 
can like go and they got the good food and they're like gonna chew it for us a little bit, right? To break it down so that our, when it gets to our intestines that it can, re, can really absorb it. Um, and I really love that. And then of course the Camu Camu, because of the high level of vitamin C, um, just naturally, it's going to help with your immune system. So that's kind of like a little bonus. And this is called Optimize. So this is, some of these are different things that I provide. A lot of them, um, you know, I will try to, I'll put links if I can get them on my blog, but most of these things I can provide to you um, if you're interested, so that'd be awesome. Um, but they're things that I use every day. Okay, look, what's the next thing? Well, I'm gonna go with, let's see. I'm gonna go with this Shakeology because it has a couple of these things that I'm already talking about. So Shakeology, um, you know, at first glance, it looks like a protein shake, which I'm not against protein shakes. I honestly used to try to be for them and I couldn't figure out what I would use them for. Like, well, why do I need more protein? Well, now I understand the portions of protein I need. And so I see the place of a protein shake. If you're not getting the protein in your day from you know, natural resources. It can sometimes be less expensive than eating animal protein, or if you want a plant-based type, you know, using a vegan protein powder can it definitely has its place, especially if you're trying to rebuild muscle and that kind of thing. But Shakeology isn't a protein powder. It's a dense nutrition um, shake, but it has enough protein in it to replace a meal or a snack. So it does have that protein. This is a vegan blend. I don't do well with dairy. I just, I'm like, I don't never want to even, even if I've healed my body through all of this, I just don't feel the need to go back to dairy or gluten or soy every ever. So everything I'm like talking about is completely free of gluten, dairy, and soy. Um, so Shakeology, besides having some like vegan forms of protein, um, it also has like high, you know, like high greens, like high antioxidant um, things like uh, camu camu, um, acerola cherry, bilberry, goji berry, uh, green tea, really, really high in antioxidants, lohan gao, pomegranate, rose hips, that kind of stuff. We've got super greens or phytonutrients, um, which is basically harnessing sun power through the plants and then we get the energy and antioxidants from that. So those are things like moringa, um, chlorella, spinach, kale, matcha. Um, and then, okay, so then when we're coming to kind of more the digestive side and why this has helped me a lot, uh, it, this is, this is like a lot of things about digestion are like not straight digestion. It's like all, like I said, sleep, water, exercise, like those can improve, but you're not going to think of them straight about digestion. So adaptogens, these are compounds, stress relieving compounds that are grown in very high stressed environments naturally, like the Himalaya mountains, the Peruvian mountains, um, roots and vegetables. And I, I feel very like attached to this because I know firsthand, my husband Sam used to be a missionary in Bolivia. So they were, and I went and lived where he lived for like uh, uh, three months. And it was 14,000 feet above sea level. So like nothing lived up there. It was very, very cold. There was like no bugs or anything. And um, it, like things didn't grow. It just was desert. But there were certain things that grew, like adaptogens, these roots that would grow and so what would happen is very cool is that because there was so little oxygen and it was so cold they had to basically to adapt and they create like these stress relieving compounds that allowed them to adapt and then in turn when people digest them then they it goes into their body wherever there's the most stress in their body a lot of times it's for women it's their adrenals and thyroid um, and it relieves that stress it's crazy. Um, this, this, some of them are roots and some of them are more like mushrooms. This, a couple of the ones that Shakeology have, has in it are ashwagandha, ashwagandha, astragalus, cordyceps, maca root, matake, um, reishi, shisandra, and chaga. Crazy names, right? Um, and so, of course, the less stressed your body feels, the less your gut is going to lock up and you're going to continue to digest. Not only do I speak from personal experience about gut locking up under stress, my four-year-old son, he gets gut blockages that are very severe, like we had him x-rayed really, really bad, he'll start vomiting bile, um, 
and that's very scary. And it's not like he's mommy, my tummy hurts. He'll go poop, you can't really tell. So you could have a gut blockage and not, and still be going poop. It just may be more mushy or like little, like little or pieces, okay? Instead of like a big, this is gross, right? A big like normal, it doesn't, like a lot of times people that have gut blockages, they're not, it's not like a giant hard poop that comes out after 10 days. It's like they're going, That's I know this is TMI, but people need to know. Um, they're going, but it's just not regular. Like everything about it is irregular. And um, relieving stress from your body can help you continue to not have your gut lock up. Now, we've been talking about enzymes and probiotics. Shakeology also contains some enzymes and probiotics like yacon root, chicory root, bacillus coagulans, amylase, cellulase, lactase, glucomylase, alpha-galactosidase, and invertase. And so these, some of these are different than the ones that we heard in the app Optimize, which is great because you really want to have a broad spectrum of enzymes, probiotics, just a really healthy like mix of everything um, in your body. So this has been a big game changer for me. It was introduced to me about three years ago. I was very against it because it's in a bag, and I was like, oh no, I only do organic, and I don't do this, and da 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 da. But it came in a sales bundle with a fitness program, and I was like, well, it's a good price in that sales bundle, so I'll try it for 30 days. All of a sudden, I started going to the bathroom very regularly, like several times a day. I felt clean, I felt good, I started to see abs, I started to not bloat, I had more energy. I just felt like clear, <laughs> like good. It helped with my stress. I felt happier. And so it has not left my side for the past three years. Um, and I'm obsessed with this vegan cafe latte flavor. So it's been a big deal. Um, I replace either a meal or a snack every day with it. And I, I blend mine with like coconut milk and sometimes I'll put some peanut butter in there. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, if people want to lose weight, like it's good for that too because it helps them um, like improve their sugar cravings. I mean, it tastes like a milkshake, so it can help with that. Um, but I don't know what I love it the most for. But I do definitely love it for how it helps my digestion and how it's really changed my health. I, got, I stopped having sinus infections um, when I started drinking Shakeology. And I'm sure I, that's like a legal claim not supposed to make. I'm sure it is, but can't make that, so I'm legally not claiming that, just personally saying that. Okay, let's go to the next one. I talked a little bit about probiotics um, that are in Shakeology, so I'm gonna sh show the probiotic that I'm currently taking. Now, probiotics are like a microorganism, bacteria, um, very, the good type, right? We have bad bugs in our belly, in our you know gut, and they mess things up. I'll, the, reason we get those bad bugs it could be just eating like bacteria something not good um, but it also stress when we have stress and our immune system goes down then the bad ones can kind of overtake the good ones so it's not like your fault you know what I mean like you did something bad but when you do have stress or you're taking steroids or antibiotics you can tip the balance the more different types you have the better um, I heard once somebody say like you know how like celebrities always look glowing and just great it's like because they travel a lot and so they're picking up all different types of microflora from different countries and I thought that's really really interesting if you were a c-section baby or you have a c-section um, like you get less gut flora that good gut flora isn't passed on to your child your child may get sick more often if you um, take antibiotics you might have poor you probably do it's probably killed off it's antibiotic, right? Anti-life, probiotic, pro-life. Talking about the flora and the microorganisms in our gut. So adding a probiotic in is going to help crowd out and get rid of the bad bacteria and bad bugs. This is going to help with bloating because bad ones, like they off-gas, they create... Um, they ferment, they create byproducts, toxic byproducts, which are going to affect your mood, your brain, make you bloat, that kind of thing. So we want the good guys to win out. Um, this one's called Revitalize, and the strain of probiotics, there's a ton of different ones. I feel like the one we hear about the most is lactobacillus and um, acidophilus, like in yogurt, but we want to have a lot of different types. We also are kind of told that good probiotics are the type that are refrigerated, and that's not totally true. Now, you can't get cheap probiotics that are not refrigerated. 
um, like at the grocery store or whatever, and they may not be the best. But this specific strain, Bacillus coagulans, does not to be, need to be refrigerated, not because it's cheap, it's not cheap, it's because it is made to survive harsher environments, like the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Um, which we know is super, super beneficial, but we don't want it to destroy the probiotics we're trying to get into our intestines. And different probiotics also go to different parts of our digestive system, and we want them to. So the bacillus coagulans, it's being shown in studies to really help improve the condition of people that have autoimmune diseases like Crohn's, celiac disease, um, and what are some other good ones, fibromyalgia, um, ulcerative colitis, yeah, um, to really improve that, help with leaky gut, that kind of thing. Personally, I have noticed a big difference since I switched to this type of probiotic. I would suggest if you're already using a probiotic, you might want to try this one. Contact me and I will hook you up. You can try it for 30 days, see how you like it, if it improves things. Okay, going on, I'm going to go on to this one. This is called uh, Digestive Health. It's a boost. If you drink Shakeology or any type of other smoothie or something, you can put a scoop or half a scoop or whatever you feel like in to your Shakeology. I just drink it with water, lots of water. Um, it's soluble, insoluble fiber, and that it's just gonna like scrub. You have like all these different grooves and pockets in your intestines. It's just gonna kind of go and slide and scrub those different parts without being harsh. Um, to get the crud out because again that's going to cause blockages, it's going to ferment, cause gas, just yucky stuff, toxins build up if you have a leaky gut, those toxins can go into the rest of your body as free radicals, not good, right? Cause colon cancer. Now I'm a little bit of a snooper so sometimes if I'm at somebody's house and I see fiber out on their, like by their coffee, I will look at the, I'm a label reader, I'll look at the label and I've noticed that a lot of Fibers, as crazy it is, all the ones that I saw like at the grocery store and at people's houses have food coloring and aspartame, chemical sugars and food coloring. Just like, that's not cool. That is not cool. Something you're trying to go and improve your gut, now you're going to put poisons into it, there's a better choice. So this um, digestive health boost, it has flax seed powder, um, pea fiber, psyllium husk powder, chicory root fiber, and chia seed powder. So again, those are different natural plant forms of uh, soluble and insoluble fiber. Um, this could be an everyday thing or a, you know, whenever you need it type thing. I think it's great if you even did like half a scoop every day. And the reason why is because as our hormones change on a monthly basis and mood changes stress and our digestive system may slow down, if we continually have this regular fiber going through, um, then it's gonna continue to keep things cleaned out instead of like if things start to get blocked and then you put the fiber on top of it, it's not gonna be able to do its job. Okay, I know this is a lot and I do use, a, like the, most of these, I use everything that I've said every, every day except the um, hydrozyme, the hydrochloric acid, I'm just, I don't have to. Things have improved so much anymore. I love this one and this is very new to me. You know what, Roxanne? I don't think they are. So Roxanne asked if these are available in Europe. And um, the Shakeology is going to start being available in the UK starting October 19th. Um, the other supplements so far, they probably will be, but they're not yet. Um, they're not yet. This is Soothe. It's turmeric. And um, so, I mean, the good thing about the Shakeology, if you can, I don't know if you can, somehow get it, I know you're in Germany, from the UK, shipped or something, um, is it's got a little bit of everything. This is called Soothe, I take it at night, it's an anti-inflammatory, it's just turmeric and aloe, which turmeric, if you don't know, it's like this yellowish, orange, probably more orange, root, little root, and it's like, the compound curcumin that's in it is really, really like crazy good in all types of studies and obviously practical use for reducing inflammation, so improving disease and, um, you know, just bloat and everything like that. And then aloe, which is amazing also for inflammation and soothing. But for me, I have a lot of turmeric because I've tried to make golden milk, teas, I put it on my food, but it's like I can't, 
I can't eat enough of it, you know, it's like, okay, more turmeric, oh, I don't feel like that today. And aloe, I just think it tastes disgusting. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes disgusting. People say add it to juice. If I buy juice, I'm gonna be spending like $30 of juice every week because my kids are gonna drink it and it's just getting sugar for, to, for me. So to me, that it, it's not a good solution. So this, um, the Soothe, it looks like this. So it's just the dried turmeric and aloe. And I take two before bed at night and it's made a big difference, like, like hallelujah. So if you are a woman still like that's not, hasn't gone through menopause, um, this would be really good to maybe take even extra around that time of the month when you've got more inflammation in your body or if you're feeling sick, you know, it's probably gonna be helpful to fight that inflammation. Okay, so, and like I said, I'm gonna kinda make a blog and list these different things. Um, but now I'm going to go into kind of more of this, um, you struggle with bloating and constipation. Yeah, so there's kind of two things that help that is one, you want to get things moving um, all the time. Like, so it's going to be fiber, probiotics, enzymes. You need to help your body break down the food. Then you need to help it move the food. Um, drink a ton of water, lower stress. Um, it's really, really tricky. And then the inflammation, because if you think about it, if you've got inflammation, then it's closing off those tubes to get the food through. And if you have a short waist like me, I think it also compacts and tightens your gut. So some of it's anatomical as well. And then food allergies, food intolerances, huge, huge, huge. Um, be aware of how you feel after eating foods and be strong enough to try to cut different types of foods, even if it's like strawberries or onions or something, you, garlic you can't think you live with, uh, can't live without, try cutting it out and see if you feel better, if you notice a difference. Bloat is not natural, it is a very bad sign. Okay, so um, yeah, absolutely PM me, please do. I like really wanna help people with this because I've been on this journey for 16 years and I get really excited every time I find another key and answer um, because I just, it's not going anywhere good. You know what I mean? If we're already having these issues, it's not going anywhere good. Now these are two things that are pretty extreme, but that I've had to use myself and use for my son who gets gut blockages. So the first one is like, I feel like people know about probiotics, maybe know about enzymes, probably know about fiber. Um, you know, but these black, the soothe, the turmeric and aloe, I don't feel like people know. So I'm, and you need to use these things every day, okay? <laughs> like, if you don't use them, they don't work. But this castor oil is one that I kind of discovered by myself, and I'm pretty proud of it. And, okay, so you always hear, like, drink castor oil to put yourself into labor, and you just go potty all the time. I never did that, haven't tried that, but what I use this for is if I, get a really bad gut blockage and and I don't anymore now that I use these supplements every day I don't get them anymore which is like crazy um my son still does sometimes um but what how I could tell I was getting one is it would feel okay so first I'm just going to show you I it is my time of the month okay this is embarrassing to say but I'm on my period and usually I'm like so inflamed and super bloated but you can see like I'm not you can see my abs and I'm, I feel like that is, to me, that's where the proof is. Like this is, this is working. But okay, when it wouldn't, when I wasn't using this, um, but I was still eating super, super healthy, like everything good and just needed some tweaks. Um, it, I, I started noticing in my cycle that like after my period, I, my, like the end of it, my digestive system would just stop, like stop. I don't know what the deal, and then in times of high stress. And I could tell after time and just learning that I was getting a gut blockage because, and so you can do this, is press on your belly. So I start up here, so this is my left side, like here's my belly, and then off to the left. So this is like where, um, uh, you know, like there's little sphincters. So I press and I just go down. And like right here, it's a little tender. So you may, if you're pressing, you can press pretty hard, you might find places that are a little tender and just go around. You might have something on the other side. If they're tender, then what that likely is, I mean, obviously it could be another organ, but what that likely is, is it's a pocket in your intestines where it's clogged and there's too much food. We'll call it food instead of poop. 
you know, whatever. And it's stuck there. And so it's stretching. It's like, it's stretching, right? Like it's all trying to come out and it's stretching your in intestinal lining. And it's like, ow. And that's what that is. Crazy, right? And so I usually find it gets kinked in two spots when it would happen. And so what you can do if that happens, and this is with kids too, if they get constipated or if your kid ever throws up bile like yellow, that's how I know it's happening. What I'll do is I will take this castor oil. We're not going to drink it. Still, I would get high quality. Um, and you are going to just put it on your hands and then start. It makes like a massage oil, so it moves down, but then something about the castor oil is detoxifying. Um, you can get a piece of flannel wool just because so it, it doesn't like soak it up uh, or you can get um you could probably use an old towel if you wanted and then if you had a water bottle or a heat pack like an electric one what i would do is i would put the castor oil on your belly and then put the heat on it for a while when, before i had a heat pack i just got in the bath and i got my belly basically warm from the bath and then i kind of stuck my belly out um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to massage your belly. So you can start on the right side and go like up, like this. And then you can go up and over. So it's like kind of spelling like I love. And then the last one would be you, like this, because your food is gonna go down here, this way. Um, so you can kind of massage like that. And then I just press on those points and kind of like massage them out. And if you do this for like 10 or 20 minutes, what will start happening, you'll start hearing noises like It's like this suction pocket that's been stuck starts to like move. And literally that dried food, crud, whatever, will start to get dislodged and move and detox. And it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'll do that with my son when I can tell he's having, and I'll just push and I, you know, I'll be like, does it hurt? Where does it hurt? And if he says, oh, here it's tender. And I kind of just work it. It's kind of like when you have a tight muscle on your neck or your back and they like work it out. That's what's basically kind of happening. And so you can work it with this castor oil and both the slipperiness of it so your hands can move. And then also just, I don't know, like the magic of it. It, um, it works and it can help dislodge. So that's if you definitely feel like you have a blockage and I recognize them when I, I feel that tenderness. So that's one thing. Now this would be like the most extreme situation when it's like just you're miserable, you feel toxic, you are really inflamed, like you're super duper bloated, like just nothing is helping, you definitely have a gut blockage. Maybe you're constipated, like you legit know you're constipated. Um, you want to do all this preventative stuff so you don't get here. Then you're going to do this. But if it's just still there, um, lots and lots and lots of water too. This is a, a colonic and enema. And I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I do want to know, like, people to know that this is something when it gets really extreme that you could use. And I have to use this on my son. And basically, I fill a bag with um, spring, like, or distilled water um, or spring water and you have to keep it all sterile. It's got a long tube. You put the little tip, some petroleum jelly in the anus, and then you slowly let the water trickle and it just goes in the opposite way and kind of gives that like a bath in your intestines. So it loosens those pieces of food and then you know you try to hold it in your belly for as long as you can. You go to the bathroom and then it's gonna wash it out. And so I have had to do a couple of these in my life, but I don't like to, not fun obviously, but if you get really desperate, like it works. Um, if your kid, you're having a lot of issues. I, this is my son, he get, it gets so bad that he'll ask for me to do this, which is really, really sad. Um, so you don't have to feel bad, like if this, you have issues with this, it's just some people are different. But I think I went over all of these different tools that I use. So if anybody has any specific questions, you can private message me. My goal is to make a blog and kind of list these separately, go over again like what they do. If anybody wants to purchase them, put like a link or you can just contact me directly if something stood out that you want to try. Um, this is all just like plant-based natural stuff. No, 
I'm not gonna do medicines. I just don't, I mean, I guess if it's like super, super severe, but I've been working through this for 16 years and um, the one time a doctor put me on medicine, it, it did nothing. It did nothing at all. Honestly, it might have hurt me because it was like, I think I mentioned Prevacid. It was like a very expensive anti, or like acid, anti-acid and medicine, which came, come to find out I was low in hydrochloric acid. Thanks, Doc. All right, I hope this helps somebody. If you like know this is a reference, I'll see if I can kind of, I'm gonna put it on a blog and then I can kind of make this like a featured video so that if you ever know anybody that's struggling or their kids, you can maybe tag them in it. I know it was long, but I just wanted to one time go through everything and be really thorough. Thanks for the heart and thanks for hanging out with me. Um, it's my pleasure.